So uh, last Saturday, Shanghai got a bit of a treat at the, uh, the Dream Factory, You Say Party, We Say Die. Now, hell of a show. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm joined with uh, Devin Clifford here at uh, Bella's Cafe. The show was great, but after the show, uh, there's, a, there's a bit of... You, want to ex you can explain to me, exact, take us through exactly what happened, your right. first Shanghai experience. So we finished playing the concert. I'm up at the front of the stage, slapping people high fives, having a good time, saying things like Gombe and newbie and things like that. Uh, some girl walks up to me with one of her shoes in her hand, like offering it to me. And she says, oh, I see you've left your shoes on the stage. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll go grab them in a second. I'll, I'll grab them in a second. That, I don't play with my shoes. I usually take them off, but sometimes I forget to take them off. Anyway, I get them off. She comes up to me and mentions that. Uh, I go backstage because I just don't feel like picking them up at the time. About ten minutes later, I go back out and <laughs> somebody runs up to me and they say, Dude, somebody, somebody took your shoes from the stage. Somebody stole your shoes. <laughs> like, they're more worried than I am. <laughs> and then... Well, I, I mean, let's I, talk about because the people that weren't at the show, mm -hmm. you were donning a very red outfit, mm. you know, and, I, and I, 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 I might be speaking out of turn here, but the shoes really pulled Not it together. Not at all. Please, speak when you feel it. I just thought the shoes pulled it together. They did pull it together, yeah. and I bought those here specifically because they did really tie the outfit. It's like the rug in the Big Lebowski. Exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. so I go down after the show for a smoke, because it was hot in there. You guys know more than anybody. Yeah. I'm sitting outside having the smoke, and the elevator doors open, and here's the man in red. Red shirt, red trousers, white socks. And I just see you bolting oh, for it. it and I almost it. never wear white socks. Right. That's a rarity. So Very I see you bolting, obviously for a purpose. Yeah. Uh, what, what happened the minute you found out your shoes were gone? Think us through it, man. Okay. Found out my shoes are gone. Instantly, I'm enraged. I transform. I feel like the Hulk all of a sudden. My <laughs> veins are bulging out of my forehead. Sweat is dripping off my nose. Uh, mm -hmm. All I can see is the color red, and not just because I'm looking <laughs> at my pants and shirt below me and looking at my absence of shoes on my feet. <laughs> Instantly enraged. <laughs> Even more red. All of a Instantly, I'm looking at everybody's shoes, because all I can remember is this girl's shoe that she held in front of me as she was telling me that my shoes are still on stage. And I think nobody else could have taken these except for her. So I'm walking around, and people are coming up to me like, Hey, great show, great show. And I'm like, thanks, it'd be a lot better if somebody didn't steal my fucking shoes and I didn't have to punch him in the face when I found them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're like, what? Somebody tried, somebody stole your shoes? Somebody stole your shoes? And within about 15 minutes, I have about 30 people trying to find my shoes. It's like an, a little little mini, a, a militia, a if you will. <laughs> it's a militia trying to find, yeah, it's a movement has developed. Find Devin's shoes. All these people I don't know are trying to help me find my shoes. Random people are coming up to me like, I saw the girl who took your shoes. She went over this way. She went down the elevator. She went down the back stairs. She went upstairs. She went in the middle stairs. And so I run outside right away because I'm thinking, man, if there's anywhere I'm going to find her, it's outside when she's leaving here. So I run outside, and it's raining, it's pouring. My socks are soaked. I'm soaked from sweat from playing the show. Marm. I'm starting to get cold. I am very marmy at the time. Thank you for dropping that sweet, sweet word that isn't marm. in the dictionary yet, but should be marm. A unnameable goo. <laughs> <laughs> unnameable layer of filthy goo that coats the things that you don't want to touch. I'd like, I'd like to point out the last Canadian star that said that was Leonard Cohen. Goo was something totally different, I'm sure, after the rock show. Goo you for Leonard right was different. Right. Leonard had a special kind of goo that <laughs> it's like got all over the finest ladies you ever did see. <laughs> so your feet, your feet are webbed in this What's the word? Marm. Marm. Yeah, my feet are all marmed up. Uh, I'm running around furiously, just, I'm enraged. 
have I expressed my enragedness <laughs> enough? <laughs> I don't think I have. Enrage! <laughs> That's what I saw coming Do it out again. Of yeah. Enrage! Kind of like that. Anyways, I run around for about 20 minutes trying to find my shoes. Eventually, uh, one of the fine fellows from, uh, from one of the bands who played before us comes up to me and he says, Hey, I know who took your shoes. She's right over here. And he leads me to this girl and he points at her right in the face like this. This is the girl who took your shoes. <laughs> and she's like, What? Me? <laughs> I would never take his shoes. I'm just a beautiful southern bitch. Oh, we got to start in the southern people now. She was southern? <laughs> uh, <laughs> she was playing herself off like okay. she was. Okay. Not, not a Texan. Southern. Of course not. No, no thanks. She was a little like, <laughs> uh, maybe Tennessee. There you go. Southern. All right. That's yeah. Tennessee. Smart. Quite different. Absolutely. Quite different. Pause for emphasis. Here it comes. I like the cigarette. <laughs> Less than peace, Charles. <laughs> 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 so you're faced with this, uh, this southern belle. Yeah. Right. And she's beautiful. She's beautiful. I can't deny it. But I know by the look in her eyes she is lying through her teeth. But still, <laughs> even when somebody is lying to their teeth, as long as they're saying the right thing, you can't just slap them in the face. Yeah. There's something <laughs> for it. And I had visions of myself finding the person with my shoes and spitting in my hand and just... <laughs> I'm thinking how satisfying this will feel, and I'm, I'm imagining grabbing their drink out of their hand and spitting in it, and then pouring it on their head. <laughs> and then making a, a, a wet sock full of marm. Marm! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> did. A thorough marm coating <laughs> to envelop her visage. <laughs>